Yeah, so this place is a little strange. It's called Hostel 35. And it's on uh, kind of a little back alley, but that's nice because off the main drag, it's a little nicer. And the decor is just really strange. Like, you got this lion. Then you come in here and you've got this big lobby. It's kind of a hodgepodge of... Hodgepodge of different things. I like the tiled floor though. And our room is up this direction, like along this narrow little alleyway. <laughs> it's weird. And you come in here, and the cool floor continues. And the, that's okay. <laughs> and there's a like a pond with koi fish. And um, <laughs> and uh, turtles in it. This is a very interesting looking place. The people that work here are really nice. And then there's this character. So we are currently at a place called Samara. And uh, we have come to the conclusion that this is the classiest joint we've been to since we left home. Um, I'll give you a look around. Place. We are the only people here, and it's 6:30, so we were kind of wondering if our food was going to be any good. I ordered my Coke, and they gave me a lime slice, which makes me realize now why people liked coconut or Coke and lime. Um, Eric got a tea right here that uh, is cinnamon-based, and it's really very good. And they also gave him lime to put in it, which made it incredible. He got a lamb stew which we really didn't know what to expect, but both were pretty happy with it. It tastes pretty good, which he's putting that in some steamed rice over there. And I got a gigantic salad that had uh, chicken, mango, you can't see the mango because I ate it, and uh, sesame dressing, and it's been pretty outstanding. We came here because we got frustrated on the street not knowing exactly where we were going, and it has turned out very well, and I'm very happy. This is our dessert. It's called a forbidden fruit. Um, it looks a little gnarled now because we've dug into it. But um, we've got a bunch of different types of fruit in here and this sauce is just... It's, it's incredible. I, it tastes like a... I've had something similar to this. It, it's very cinnamony. Cinnamony. I know what it tastes what like. What does it taste like? It tastes like something um, I've had. It. Uh... It tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's yes. what it tastes like. It yes, tastes it like does. Cinnamon Toast Kinda Crunch. Does. It's got raisins and this vanilla ice cream is just unbelievably good. And that's uh, that dessert. And that's dessert, that's what he said. So um, if you want to know about like what do you get for, like snacks and things like that for in Indonesia, um, here's an example. I just um, went and bought some of the following. Some Oreo double stuffs. This is like a tube of them. Um, doesn't say how many are in here, but maybe 10? Uh, no, like that? 15. Maybe 15. 10 or 15 cookies. And um, then I got a thing of water. This is 600 milliliters. So, I mean, it's like your normal bottle of water. And this is a, a orange juice. It's a little small. Um, the orange juice is, survey says, 350 milliliters. So it's not a huge thing of orange juice, but juices are expensive, like super expensive around here. So um, keep that in mind. And then this is a 500 milliliter Coca-Cola, which is, you know, about the same, about your, stand, your standard bottle of Coca-Cola. And the total of all of this was... 19,200 rupa. So that's like $2, a little under $2, I think. So that's uh, that's pretty cheap. And um, yeah. You know, thinking about it, my gripe about the situation with like how much things cost, I mean, of course, I can turn a complaint, anything into a complaint. But what's really irritating is 
if they can sell a bottle of water for 13 cents in Indonesia, why are they charging $2 for it or whatever retarded price they ask for in the States? Like, <laughs> something is wrong. <laughs> Why, why is this possible? You know, I mean, it is exactly the same. It is a bottle of water, completely normal bottle, sealed. Like, there is nothing different about this than... It, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I can see a little bit difference in inflation or price or whatever. You gotta pay factory workers in the States a lot more and shipping and all that. But, I mean... 13 cents, people. 13 cents. And the Coke? The Coke is 63 cents. So, I mean, and they, they that's literally, what, like a buck 50 or something if you go to a machine or something and you want to get it? Like, yeah. There's, there's something wrong with that. There's just something wrong.